What's going on guys, I'm Cosmo, welcome back to Trailmakers, and today I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting with some of the new parts that we got, such as the thrusters, uh, the quantum rudders, and more importantly, I want to see if these parts, uh, you know, work in the regular worlds with an atmosphere, right? Uh, so I'm gonna see if, for example, the blasters work, don't see why they wouldn't, you know, uh, but certain things I am, uh, you know, kind of curious about, such as the quantum rudders. Now this might be a bit of a no-brainer for certain parts, but I'm sure I'm not the only one asking that question, so let's get right into it. I think uh, I'm gonna start with the rocket engine, and we obviously know that these work perfectly fine, but just to show you, I built this drag car. Let's, uh, let's see how this thing goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I feel like my little, uh, my little engine might actually be thwarting my progress here. Oh my god, oh my, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I got so scared going for the wall there. So slow to accelerate, but obviously guys, the rocket engines are going to work in the atmosphere, you know, so all is good there. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose control. <laughs> that thing is cool though. Alrighty. On to the next one. Let's see if the space thrusters, which in my mind would be kind of like an ion thruster, you know, like that's sort of what I think of when I look at this thing. I don't think of it as like a jet, you know, I think of it as like some kind of ion thruster, uh, but let's check out the aerodynamics on it. Oh my goodness, they're just absolutely horrible. What about this way? Oh, they're not, they're not actually bad. Interesting. Okay, so if you want to put these facing forward, uh, you're, you're gonna need to put some aerodynamic pieces on it. And even this way, you know, it, uh, it looks like it could use some help. But let's test it out. And for this one, I built this cool little motorcycle, uh, which has the, you know, the space thrusters. I think this thing looks awesome. And what do you know? They work. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't think they wouldn't work, but uh, it's cool to see that they actually, you know, work. Man, this... This little thing turned out pretty neat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it might need uh, might need some downforce though, that's for sure. But hey, cool little, uh, you know, space thruster motorcycle. Almost like somebody, you know, took an old bike and, uh, you know, retrofitted it with, uh, with some space thrusters. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing could certainly use, uh, you know, some, uh, some turning tuning, but that's okay. The most important thing is that we know the space thrusters work just fine. Not sure why I can't adjust the gravity. That'd be really cool though. Oh no. <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Guys, I really like this motorcycle. I think it just needs like, oh, that, was that a wheelie? Oh geez. It could also maybe use like, you know, less power on these things. Let's do like 0 0.25. See, now it's a nice tame motorcycle. Perfect. Well, all right, on to, uh, on to the next parts uh, that we can check out here. Let's take a look. We obviously know the space fighter cockpit can be used, uh, you know, anywhere. That's kind of a given. Now let's check out the shield. I'm actually curious about the shield. Where is the shield? There it is, perfect. I'm gonna grab a vehicle and then I'm actually going to strap an EMP onto it as well and see if I can shoot another vehicle with a shield. Let's do that. <laughs> wow, this is hilarious. <laughs> My porto potty drag car. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Has shields. It's a little bit top heavy now because of the shields. But hey, this is this is fantastic, man. Uh, I can't wait for all the multiplayer stuff with, uh, you know, with the shields in uh, in just the regular maps. Okay, well, now I need something to shoot this thing with. So let's save this. And let's put a blaster on my motorbike here. I think that'd be a funny test. Where are you? Tiny blaster. There we go. I mean, let's be real. If the tiny blaster works, then, uh, then you know, then the other one will work as well. So, actually, let's do it like this. Let's, let's throw the tiny blaster here. Oh, man. Now it's a deadly motorcycle. Noise. All right. And this is set to perfect. All right. Oh my goodness. Well, the blasters definitely work on the regular map. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna check the EMP, but I guess we're checking the blasters. Oh geez. They're not, uh, they're not very tracking, there we go. Oh, the shield is working too, nice. The, the one side of the shield is, uh, is destroyed now, fantastic. Is it gonna recharge? Taking a while, oh, there it is. Noise. <laughs> this is cool, man. I cannot wait to have more multiplayer battles with vehicles, with shields, and the new blaster cannons, because they're just, uh, they're hilarious. Let's try throwing uh, an EMP on this thing. Although, I feel like we should throw an EMP on something else, because this little motorbike is a little bit too small for it. EMPs and drag cars, what could go wrong, right? Once again, don't see why 
this wouldn't work. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, this is uh, this is great. I am happy that so far we uh, we can use all these parts in uh, in the regular maps. Oh boy, come on, recharge, recharge, shoot it again. Shoot it. Yes, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Imagine just shooting a bunch of random creations in uh, Oh man, you could have like EMP robot battles. You know, just make some deadly robots, put them in a cage, and just shoot them with an EMP and see which ones uh, survive, you know? Because they're all just going to start twirling their weapons and trying to kill each other. Oh, that would be crazy. All right, well, uh, we've tested... What is going on there? I, I saw some kind of weird shadow. No, no, I don't want a new car. Uh, I think it is time to potentially test the Quantum Rudder. I think that is the one that, you know, most people are kind of curious about. So first, let's confirm how the Quantum Rudders actually work in space, and then we're gonna compare it to how they work in atmosphere. I'm gonna build a, a very simple vehicle right now. Okay, here we are. I've got my very basic creation. I've got air controls off on the cockpit. I'm going to turn off my gyro stabilizer here. Perfect. And now let's see yeah, so the quantum rudders, as you guys can see, actually, you know, uh, work as as rudders. But in space, uh, they got this fancy animation, as we've all seen before. And, uh, you know, they have the ability to sort of uh, rotate us in directions that we want to go, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't think they will provide the same kind of effect uh, in a regular map, but, you know, time will tell. So let's, uh, let's see what they actually work like in, uh, you know, in an atmosphere. Man, this is really cool. I I really like this little spaceship. <laughs> uh, bare minimum, but it's just it's so neat. Also, I love the sound of these space thrusters. Such a cool sound. Now, if I try to use the same little creation on an atmosphere map, let's see, uh, you know, what actually happens here. Let's gain some speed. Not going nearly fast enough. I think this thing needs some skis or something. Perfect. Lots of skis. All right, let's go. So now, if I try to steer with... Wait a second. They they do work in... What? They do work in atmosphere maps. Okay, that is... Uh, Dr. Shirley. That, okay, let's just confirm. Let's just stop, stop. I can't slow down. I can't slow... And, and the trails still work? Dude, this is amazing. Okay, slow down. Just stop. Just... Okay, perfect. Uh, let's confirm that I have... Yeah, disable air control. Air controls are disabled, guys. I have no way of steering other than with the quantum rudders, and they're actually working on this map. Wow, that is... That's cool. That is awesome. Let's see what the experience is like on a populated map. I'm curious to... I'm actually curious to check my, uh, my spaceship. Let's see if my spaceship will work, guys. If this works, I will be amazed. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay, calm down, calm down, yep. Okay, landing gear, perfect. Uh, let's turn on the hover mode. Oh my goodness, hover mode even still works, that is great. Okay, landing gear up. Can I, oh my gosh, the quantum drive actually works on a regular map. What the heck is going on, guys? <laughs> this is amazing. Now, I know that this could actually just be, uh, you know, the quantum rudders acting like, you know, flat surfaces that push air. Um, and, you know, that's how we're moving here. But you guys saw for yourselves the actual, like, holographic spinny function of the quantum rudder that makes things turn in space works here as well. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So this thing, hey, this thing is capable of flying in atmosphere as well. I am, I am surprised guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was fully expecting everything else to work in the atmosphere just fine. Uh, I was not expecting the quantum rudders to work just fine, okay? That is, uh, that is very interesting. I'm actually curious, um, I know that thing is not going to fly at all, but I am just curious. Where are you? I obviously don't have, like, any sort of lift, and the aerodynamics are awful, so I can't expect it to work. But, oh my god, it is working, and I can freaking fly. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Sure, yeah, that's... The this is perfectly normal. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I think we answered uh, an important question here. 
you know? And like I said, I knew the other stuff would work. I had no clue the quantum rudders would work. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be just as surprised as I am. So this was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else you want to see in Trailmakers. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Dude, this is cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs>